Well, here's a tricky thing. Uh, Taz uh, really had to use all the cage to, to get her shed off. And now I have to get the shed out. And I really would like it in one piece, uh, but she certainly doesn't make it easy, does she? Oh, and hi, how are you? Here's Mr. Brown, uh, also had his two cents, and the Taipan, of course. All right, let's see what we can do and see if we can survive it. Well, this doesn't uh, give you the best vantage point, but it's the best, best one available. Um, let's see uh, what sort of mood Taz is in. I can try to get that uh, big old shedding out. And as you can see, Taz is a very big black mamba. No baby. Who's really stressing my snake hook. You're okay. the max. Alright, you're okay. You're okay. Oh boy, is this fun. Oh, that's right. Come this way. Stress me even more. I'll make a mess. We always make messes. Okay, one very big shedding. Let's put that there for now. Sort of fix that back up for the Taz. Usually they get uh, really, really hyper when they first come out. And then they generally Settle down. Whoa, what a beautiful girl you are. Here you go. Here you go. You're home. You're home. Oh man, look at that tiger pattern. That is one gorgeous mamba. Here you go, baby. Now, like I said, you know, I've had, in September, I've had Taz two years. And Taz takes a lot of work and effort to get an animal, especially with the reputation of a black mamba, uh, to the point where you can work with it in that way. And it would certainly be a lot easier, right girl, huh? If we had uh, a little bit more room in here because uh, then she wouldn't be climbing all over things, but the whole idea is not to do anything to freak them out and just uh, let them relax and, and then that will afford you the privilege of, uh, of handling them like that. Oh, you pooped also. All right, well, let's get that. I 
They don't particularly like their tail messed with, but they don't particularly like poop in their cage either. And pooping after or during a shed is a very, very common snake thing to do. And all the while I do this, I of course monitor her place in the cage. And also I monitor her mood and uh, how she's uh, tongue flicking, huh? And we certainly don't want to, uh, to upset her. Right now I see just normal tongue flicks. Right? Is that what we see? Yeah, we see that. Okay, girly, there you go. There. Here's your tunnel. Uh, actually, she likes her tunnel, and it's quite common. There you go. It's quite common to see her laying in it. So we'll put that uh, uh, back in there. Okay, well, safe and secure. Now, <laughs> hey, look at the prize. A complete, intact, perfect Tanzanian black mamba shed. You know, they're you know they're especially difficult to get because you take your life in your hands when you go in and get them and just even getting them out in one piece can be uh, a miracle all on its own uh, but do that and juggle the snake at the same time uh, you really uh, count your lucky stars for that one but I wouldn't have done that if I would have seen that uh, and she was having a bad uh, scale day or something like that and and I've gone in there and she's uh, not been in the best of moods uh, so I can uh, usually gauge uh, what the situation is and fortunately she was uh, in a very good mood because she just got rid of this uh, old skin so let's uh, go out where there's room and I'll lay it out and we'll we'll try to get a measurement on it it's nighttime when the shedding occurred, and uh, uh, this is a uh, Jeep Cherokee with uh, Taz's shedding on top. And as you can see, uh, the tip of the tail at the rear of the vehicle goes along top and down the front windshield. So Taz is a big, uh, big snake. Uh, clearly, measuring it against myself, it's about. I would say a good eight feet. So Taz is a big god sucker. Lots of uh, lots of critters are. Don't hit the glass, please. Lots of critters are looking forward to feeding time here, without question. Whoa! -ho -ho! something that was a fake to the camera and tag the mouse geez uh, well I think that one requires me to check my shorts folks uh, excuse me I'll be back okay actually I didn't check my shorts but I did check the footage and that will certainly look interesting on slow motion. Go ahead, we're not going to bother you after that display of uh, craziness. Uh, I'm certainly not going to harass you.
Wow. God, you take that back in there and let me shut the shut the door. Wow. That's classic puff adder. You know, people uh, don't think uh, uh, very much of puff adders and uh, their abilities. They're just these fat slugs. Well, let me tell you, I can. I can count uh, off three or four very experienced keepers that count the puff adder as one of the worst snakes to uh, have to work with. And this guy I think is from uh, Tanzania. And uh, it's certainly one of the most beautiful puff adders I've ever come across and and yes I think that one cannot have enough puff adders because they're so variable they're so widely distributed in Africa that you know you just have to have more than one that's the way it goes they're easy keepers uh, they don't require much just some food and water and and heat that's about it very, very uh, classic bitis. Okay, well, let's let this guy uh, eat his meal and we can continue on. Where'd you go, bud? Come here. Come here. Want some more water, huh? And these are Jamie's. Uh, Jamie's I consider much more dangerous than the blacks, but even though these guys have a water dish, uh, come on guys, play nice, play nice. They uh, they'll come right up to me and uh, and drink from the uh, spigot here. Come here, girl. Come here, girly. Come here, girly. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, kissing, huh? Oh, isn't that sweet? The Jamies are kissing. Uh, kissing Jameson Mamba Cam. Here, a communal kiss and drink. Nice. Jamie's are very, very nervous snakes. <laughs> so much for the girl there, bud, huh? Come here, yeah. Come here, lady. Come here. Come here, girl. Why am I doing that? I'm not with the friggin' horses. Okay, you want more, huh? Oh boy, we're thirsty today. We're thirsty today. Now, come on, guy. Calm down. See now he's getting a bit rowdy and that puts me off. Uh, come here. No, I don't want you. Come on. Now I... Oh. James and Mamba Cam. Yeah, it's just checking you out like you're checking it out. Come here, girl. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on, guy. Oh. Oh, you're a, you're a Bogart. <clears throat> okay. Dueling Jamies. Okay, now that's that's an aggressive posture. Come on, no over the camera stuff. Come on, I'm trying to give the girl some water. There we go. He's a pain in the butt tonight, huh, girl? Hey. Hey, you. Up there. Have some water.
Come here. Come here. Come here. I'll give you water. Come here. Over here. Ah, oh, jeez. Look, I can't do this with you sneaking around the side there. Huh? Now, come on. Behave yourself. You had your water. Let her get a drink. There we go. Her mouth is still a bit screwed up. And actually, I don't... Oh, well, that was nice. I don't know how, uh, if she's, how well she's really doing. Those are so tough and difficult to get a hold of. Now, is that a... Is that a tick? Okay, where's your head there, Buster? Is that a tick? I don't want to have to hold your head or tube you or do anything uh, to remove a tick because that'll, that'll stress you out. Okay, where is he? Okay, there's the head over there. Did you have enough? All right, that's enough. Oh no, you didn't have enough, huh? Oh, you're rubbing your face. Okay, they don't like their faces wet so much. Okay, or maybe she's gonna shed. Yeah, that's strange. She shed and should have gotten rid of any external parasites. That's weird. Okay. Okay, let's drop in on the nausea annulata. Do you want that to eat? You want that to eat? You want to check out the camera? Mmm. Ringed water cobra cam. Oh, it's eating the camera. Oh, I think, oh, look. That's a very special view of down the mouth of a water cobra. Oh, I'll just eat this lens. Why, thank you. When did you have your tonsils out? Huh? Would you like this instead? Huh? Oh, there you go. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. <clears throat> you know, I seldom make a recommendation, but... If you're going to get a starter a lapid and you're not going to get a coral cobra, uh, these ringed water cobras, if you get it as a baby, uh, are very, very placid. You really, really have to try hard to piss them off. Um, you know, these guys I can just uh, sort of uh, gently grab in the middle and move them around as, as necessary. Uh, you know, I don't let them crawl through my hands. I don't do the free handling, but, you know, uh, tailing a cobra is, is a normal thing for moving them around and, and such. And, you know, these guys are very amenable to that. They're just, uh, very relaxed guys. Uh, they only, uh, they only seem to want to bite, uh, when there's food involved. So you go ahead and eat that, bud, huh? There you go.